Okay, so I'm gonna be reacting to ABA tier lists because they're like really controversial. It has 52 likes but 76 dislikes. So this video got ratioed. Um, yeah, I'm, I just want to react to them because they're such a controversial topic, right? So again, an S tier. I can agree with that. Lamillion, uh, I don't know, A tier or S tier. It really depends. Yamamoto S tier can stay there. This other character, I forgot. I forgot his name. But he's not S tier. He's like more A tier in my opinion. Dio, he can stay there. Krillin, yes, yes. People are sleeping on Krillin. And Krillin is actually a pretty good character. Gohan at A tier? No. If you're gonna put Krillin in S tier, then Gohan is also A tier. Khalifla is, is yes, is, is an S tier because she's a Dragon Ball Z character. Come on. Diablo, yes, S tier. Come on, dude. No, not A tier. Broly, S tier. Come on. Old Joseph, B tier. I would put him at A tier. Aizen at B tier. I can agree with that. Black Goku, B tier. I can somewhat agree with that, but if I had to do it, I would put it at A tier. Afro in B tier um i would put him at a tier todoroki and c tier people are sleeping on todoroki no todoroki is b tier in my opinion because todoroki is actually a pretty decent character like it can be pretty annoying to fight but that's literally the most good thing about todoroki he you just spam glaciers and run that's the only thing you do with todoroki okay trunks and c tier nah no 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 trunks is s tier not in C tier, come on. Shinji, I'll put him at B tier. Simply because Shinji's like really good. Piccolo at D tier? No! Why are you sleeping on Piccolo? He should be in A tier, if not S tier. Piccolo's really good. Gone D tier? Yes, I agree with that. Tanjiro in D tier? I can somewhat agree with that. I would actually put him in C tier, but yeah. Okay, so this tier list is actually pretty solid. Like, I, I don't know why it has a lot of dislikes, because this tier list compared to others are, is pretty good. Like, the only thing I would switch around, like, the only major difference or, like, the major mistake is, like, Piccolo and Todoroki, Diablo, Broly. Yeah, no, there's just a few minor mistakes with, like, the rankings. I can see why it has a lot of dislikes, but it's just, like, one tier difference difference with most of these mistakes like diablo and broly is easily an s tier they might explain it in the video but i haven't watched it so i can't really say i don't know what to rate it so i'm just not gonna rate it okay this one is by purged new aba tier list ta and gojo okay i'm not gonna take this tier list seriously here's here's the reason why because why is all for one in this tier list why is hold on no nah. Why is ultimate cars in this tier list? Okay, but let's see. TS Naruto in S tier? No. Put him in A tier? No. B tier. B tier. I don't know why people put Aizen in S tier. Because Aizen, like, it's it's good with skill, I guess. But his kit overall is, like, B tier, in my opinion. Okay, so I'm, I'm guessing this video is a joke. Because I, I can't... I, I don't know why there's so many, like, unreleased characters in this roster. But yeah, I'm just taking this video as a joke. I, I don't really know what to say. This tier list is by Ace Kage Adam. Khalifla at S tier. Thank you. Finally, someone understands. Gin at S tier, I completely understand because of a shoot to kill. If I had to switch Gin's position, I would put him like a tier below, like S through A tier. But that's about it. Todoroki at S tier. Ah, uh, dude. S tier, no. He's Todoroki's a good character, but not S tier. Jorno in S tier. Okay, that's a bit controversial. I would put him at A tier because Jorno's not the best. But his awakening's really good. Saber in S through A tier? No, no. Saber is like B tier, come on. Trunks in S through A tier? No. Trunks is like S tier. I know like that's a pretty high ranking still, but you know, I would put him at S tier. Krillin at A tier? No, I would put him at S tier. Gohan at A tier? No, I think he deserves S tier. Gohan is such a good character. Like his uppercut is such a good move. Okay, but other than that, his tier list is pretty solid. Like Piccolo, Piccolo is A tier. Come on, no. But yeah, Piccolo can stay here because it says A or B. So yeah. Uh, other than that, I don't really see any major issues. Okay, no, this is a major issue. This PTS Goku in D tier? No, I don't agree with that. Come on. It's A tier. PTS Goku is really good. Like, PTS Goku has Awakening, like the Awakening move with the Kaioken. It's really overpowered because you can do two times damage with it. So, if I were to Awaken Kaioken, 
then I would be doing 8 damaging M1s, in base by the way, and his beam would literally one shot. So yeah, PTS Goku is like A tier, if not S tier, like I don't understand. Gara should be in the same tier as Rock Lee, I don't know why Gara is below Rock Lee. Aizen in C tier? No. He, he should be in A through B tier because Aizen can be really good with skill. But other than that, I don't really see a problem with it. Pretty solid tier list. But obviously, a lot of people disliked. Okay, this one, I was planning on doing it, but I'm skipping it because it's just based on the Bleach roster. But if I had to say this tier list makes sense, like Gin at S tier, it makes sense. Stark at S tier, it makes sense. Grimjaw D tier, it does make sense because like Grimjaw is really good with M1s, but M1s are not guaranteed. And it is debatably hard to land an M1, so... Yeah, I understand. I understand why everything in its own place. Okay, this one is made by Shiver Away. This man said, I speak facts and only facts. Okay, Shiver Away, let's see what you have to say. Okay, okay, okay. Bad at that, both of E tier, Rock Lee, Young Joseph. No, Bakugo is not E tier. Come on. Bakugo is really slept on, dude. Why is Bakugo in E tier? Bakugo is like B tier. These two PTS Naruto and PTS Sasuke, I can't say anything about it because I haven't used them, so yeah. D tier Rukia. Rukia got a lot better with the buff, but this video was made before it, so it kind of understands. Shinji at D tier? No. Shinji is B tier, if not A tier. Shinji is such a good character, dude. You're tripping. Piccolo at D tier? Again again no why are people putting piccolo in such a low rank piccolo is such a good character he should be in a tier kazuma no he should be in b tier if not a tier this luffy pts luffy ts luffy i don't know i haven't watched one piece i think he's a tier if he was pts luffy because pts luffy is actually pretty good tanjiro d tier i can't say because i don't use him c tier todoroki todoroki no he deserves a bump he should be in b tier if not a tier that kind of no he should be in a tier in my opinion this character i forgot his name minato is a tier if not s tier come on saber i agree with gara i agree with PTS Sanji, like, he's really good in close range, but all the opponent has to do is just run, honestly. B tier, Hisoka, Yusuke, uh, Stark, yes, I agree with that. But I would put Stark at A tier, if not S tier. Ichigo, he can stay there. Yeah, Yamamoto is A tier. There's no question about it. Jonathan Joestar is also A tier because John. Why is Jonathan Joestar in B tier? Why is All Might in B tier? All Might should be like in the lower ranks, right? Android Vegeta in B tier? Nah, 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 nah. It should be in S tier. Busaka Goku in B tier? I don't understand. I'm just not gonna argue anymore. I I'm tired to be honest. No, Kilo, I actually agree with. PTS Zoro in A tier? Uh, yes, I actually agree with that though. Because PTS Zoro, I, he's really punishable, so I would put him at B tier if I had to, but he can stay there. Krillin, I would put him at S tier, but he can stay there. Khalifa, S tier easily. Tia Sanji, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about him. Like, he, he's really easy to counter, but at the same time, he's a good character in my opinion. Shanks is an S tier because Shanks is such a good character for 1v1s. Gohan S tier all the way. All right, let's see the what he has to say for other... S tier because he only speak facts or tier. that's what he said. Oh, whoa, 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 Ace? Ace in S tier? Ace is good, but he's not S tier. Like he's A tier and A tier only because like Ace is definitely good. Don't get me wrong about that, right? But his block breaker and base is really weird. Like it's it's kind of it's it's really weird, okay? Um he's really solid, but I wouldn't put him at S tier, you know? But he can stay there, but it's up for debate. It's either S or A tier. Trunks at S tier, thank you. Thank you for understanding. Tia Sasuke in S tier? Ah, uh, no. A tier. Madara, S tier, okay. Majin Vegeta, okay. Itachi, A tier. More like A tier. Like, his awakening is really good, but his base is not it. TS Naruto in S tier. Golly. Why? Why? T.S. Naruto? No, 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 get him out of here. T.S. Naruto is not S tier. Come on, we all know this. Aizen in S tier? No, 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 no. Aizen is B tier. With the right amount of skill, he's easily S tier, right? And people always like to say, like, oh, 
but this character or that character is really good with skill, so he should be S tier. Okay, but that, that is not a valid argument simply because every single character is good with a skill, okay? The only valid argument is like he has high skill ceiling or something like that. But you can't say like, oh, this character is really good with skill. So he has to be an S here. Like, like that's not how it works, okay? But other than that, this tier list is sort of whack in my opinion. I can tell that he doesn't play this game a lot because he's using TS Naruto. So this one, well, why is there a picture of a kid? Is that his face? Uh, okay. Todoroki. Todoroki is trash? No, 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 no. Todoroki, no, 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 no. Todoroki is B tier, if not A tier. I can't keep saying this, bro. Todoroki is actually pretty good. Law trash? No, Law is actually really good. PTS Sanji, he's not trash, okay? Ida is also not trash. Endeavor is not trash. The only valid one is Pain, and Pain is somewhat good as well. Uh, let's take skill. <laughs> PTS Goku takes skill. <laughs> Yo, yes, uh, totally. PTS Goku totally takes skill, man. And this character, this character, I think his name was like Shinsu Shin Shinsui. Shinsui takes skill, dude. No, Shinsui does not take skill, dude. No, it, it does not take skill, okay? That, no, that's invalid. That's invalid. C tier, Black Goku in C tier. Oh, jeez. No. Black Goku, no. He's easily A tier. Why is Black Goku, like, in such a low rank? Why? Rukia? Uh, Rukia is actually really good. I don't know why. He's... Especially after the Awakening buff, I would put her at A tier. But I'm just assuming that this video was before the Rukia update, so yeah. Piccolo in C tier, and old Joseph in C tier, and the jo and the Zoros, they're in C tier? What? The Zoros sh should be in B tier, if not A tier. Piccolo should be in A tier, 100%. Old Joseph, same thing. They should both be in A tier, come on. B tier, Diablo in B tier? No. This this guy's tripping. Khalifa and B tier. This guy's all. This guy's tripping all the way. Gohan tripping. Majin Vegeta tripping. Android Vegeta tripping. Aizen not tripping. Gon tripping. Gon should be in trash tier. Gon actually sucks, dude. Madara and B tier. A tier. No. Madara should be in A tier. Yeah. There's there's just so many things wrong with this tier list. Like why is Khalifa and B tier? Why she should be in S tier. Gohan, same thing. Andrew Vegeta, same thing. Diablo, same thing. Gin, same thing. I mean, Gin can be an A tier, but, you know, I just don't understand this tier list. A tier Shinji, okay. Shinji is debatable. He can be B tier or A tier, but he's fine there. Broly in A tier? No, he's S tier. I keep telling you, bro. Broly is such a good character. Jorno, A tier, he can sit there. Trunks is S tier. Whitebeard in A tier? Uh, it's debatable. He's either A or S tier. Buu Saga Goku, it's also debatable, but yeah. Krillin is S tier, in my opinion. Ichigo, yes, somewhat. Naruto, no. TS Naruto should be B tier. Shanks, uh, he should be in S tier. And same thing with Yamamoto, in my opinion, he deserves S tier. But he's fine the way he is right now. S tier, Dio, Hiei, and Gojo, that's it? What the- no. I- I can't really say, like, I can't believe there's only three characters in the S tier, and it has to be Dio, Hiei, and Gojo. I can't believe it. Okay, so quick update, it turns out that this video was a joke. Of course. But yeah, I'm- I'm just done reacting to these tier lists. They make my brain hurt, and I'm only an intermediate, so I can't wait to see what the pros reaction is gonna be, right? Like, people that are actually good. That was my reaction to these tier lists. But if you do disagree and you're willing to change my mind, please feel free to do so because I'm open for, you know, a suggestion or even a recommendation, right? But yeah, that's it. I'm- I'm just done. I'm- I- I- no. <laughs>